This is the second video in the series of missing values treatment. In the previous video, we learned how to deal with missing values. And in that, we learned to delete the missing values. If you have not seen that yet, I would strongly recommend you to just click this link showing at the upper right corner, or you can also Take the help of the link provided in the description section. Today in this video we will be learning is any, not any, fill any and interpolate. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and to understand the concept very clearly, please watch the video till the end. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Here, in Jupyter Notebook, I have imported pandas and here I have created two data frames using two different files. One is Filene, the other one is Access Filene. Let me quickly show you the view of each of these two data frames. First one is this in which you can see the missing values which is which are indicated as NAN values. Second one is grid. And here also you can see that the missing values we have in gridding columns, but not in the remaining two columns. We will take use of each of the tables one by one to understand the concepts clearly, okay? Let's start with this DF data frame. For example, whatever the missing values we have, we want to replace them with zeros. So why do we need to replace the missing values? Usually when you are doing any sort of analysis and if you have missing values in your table, that creates the problem when you make any sort of analysis. So to, or maybe if you are doing some sort of data manipulation, then also it creates some sort of issues, right? So to avoid all those things, we're gonna learn how to replace the missing values in our data frame. Like I explained you in the very beginning, before we start with replacing that thing, we will learn what is is any and not any. That means using is any, you can know what are the what are our the missing values to be have in our data frame so let's see it quickly so df dot is any and just parenthesis operator start and close here it gives you a true false value for each of the missing value you would have true each of the non missing value you would have false it is reversed when you use not any Previously, it was true for all the missing values. Now it will be true for all the non-missing values and false for the missing values. All right. Now, if you want to take a count of all the non-missing values by each of the variables, you can simply say sum. Now you're going to get the number of records for each of the variables. For example, date, we have nine non-missing values, gender, five non-missing values. Similarly, if you want to say how many missing values are there, then you can say is any, and then you can take account of that. In date, we have zero missing values. We don't have any missing values at all. So this is very effective if you just wanna get a summary of the missing data in your data frame. Now, once you have the information about how many missing records do you have, you can possibly take a decision where you want to delete them or you want to fill them let's suppose you have decided that you want to fill them not delete them if you want to delete them then you need to watch my previous video just using the link provided in the description section or if you want to fill them then you can keep on watching this video where I'm gonna show you how to fill them now Let's start with replacing all these values with zero. So I will say df dot fill array, and in the bracket I'm gonna provide the value zero. So like you can see, wherever we had missing values previously, 
Now all of them have been replaced with zero. Does it make sense? Now the question is, does this make sense? This is something which is better than nothing, but does this actually make sense? Like we have zero in Xander, which does not make any sense. In unit price, we have zero values, which again does not make any sense. So what is it that we can do? There are options, but you have to decide what you want to do. For example, these are the gender column. If you want to remove the missing values, generally what you can do, whatever value you have over here, you can fill in this and in this. You can fill this in this. Similarly, you can do the backward filling as well. So let's see. There's another method which we say, which is named as method you're gonna provide you're gonna tell a method how do you want to fill the missing values in that i will say f fill so f stands for forward fill stands for filling it so ultimately where here you are trying to say fill the missing values with the previous fill the forward missing values with the previously available value for example this is the missing one so it will be filled with male male for example here we have missing but previous value is female so female will be filled in over here let's see the result here you see that those all have been filled in similarly in unit price also missing values have been filled in here we had missing now that has been filled with 58 which was the previous value similarly you can do the backward filling as well but before you before i show you that again i'll show you the original data so here we have an an which we want to fill which cannot be filled in by using forward fills for that we're going to use backward field fill an a in the bracket you need to say method equals to B stands for backward and fill means filling that B fill that means whatever value you had in the next row that will be filled in the previous row so here we had female and here it was missing so that has been filled in all right so this is how let me show it to you once again here we had missing now here we have the value and the same we want to utilize in over here similarly here we have 85 and now we want to fill the previous cell with the same value how can we do that same thing like you can see this 85 is filled with this 85 so this is how you can use backward fill or forward fill to fill the missing values whatever we have so this was a very basic thing to fill the missing values now there could be a situation here we use same method for all of the variables there could be certain situation where in general you just don't want to standardize it possibly you want to check what are the values which have occurred mostly in this column and you want to use the same to fill this missing value in this particular column for example you want to fill missing values in unit price with the mean of the available values in unit price quantity you want to fill using the median value of quantity values available of the values in quantity field same thing if you want to apply some specific technique to fill the missing values in total column so how can you do that for that we're gonna use dictionary all right so before i proceed with that let me show you the syntax of this fill anything here it says value whatever you want to fill then the method you need to provide what method you want to use to fill them so these are the method we just learned that is backward fill and forward fill then in place it's something which makes it which change that in original data frame all right so I'll show you that. For example, here we just used backward fill and all the missing values are filled in. But if you see the data frame again over here, you would have the missing values printed into that, right? So here it is just for display purpose, but it does not change the values actually in the data frame. If you want to do that, for that you need to say in place equals to true. So when you say in place equals to true, 
that will permanently be changed in df and if you check it here that will be changed so in place equals to true you can use when you are 100 percent sure that you want to make these changes in the data all right so now because i have already changed so i need to repeat this thing once again and again i have my original data back now our point was we want to use different techniques to fill the value in each of these columns so let me show it to you again here i want to use mod of this column to fill the missing values here i want to use mean of unit price to fill the missing values here we want i want to use quantity to fill the missing value here i want to let's say use the minimum value available in total to fill this thing otherwise we can just take a multiplication of this thing and you can fill it over here all right that's also an option but we will take mean value for total column and we will then fill it let's see how can we do that simply df dot fill an a in that you're gonna create one dictionary so like you know if you want to create a dictionary you're gonna put this curly bracket so now you, what you need to do is provide the each of the variable variable name where you want to change the missing values for example this variable name and in this i want to put mode of the changer all right so how can we do that for again df you're gonna say df and the variable name is gender and here you're gonna say mode that's the function and here you're gonna pick just say zero for now i'll not explain why do i put it over here but as a method you can just use this that i'll explain in some other video now here in the unit price i want to use mean of this particular thing right so in that I can say unit price dot mean and the parenthesis operator opens and closes. Then again for quantity, I'm going to use let's say quantity. Please bear with me for the slowness. Now I want to use median of that median i want to use to fill the missing values in that particular variable and right in here let's say if i want to fill the total column how can i do that for total i want to fill it using mean value now let's run this whoa so this has been taken as so here female was the most frequently occurred value in this particular column so that has been used to fill the missing values all over here here the mean has been taken of unit price and that has been used to fill the missing values so that's how you can use different techniques different techniques to fill the missing values in each of the column all right so this was the functions which we chose to fill the missing values there are options which python can automatically choose and automatically decide to fill the values fill the missing values with real value that i'll cover in next step let me just before i proceed further let me take you to an another example for example, we have another data frame which is called grid. Now, here we want to use a name to grid each of the person. For example, Mrs. But we don't have any name to grid that person. So, we want to say Ambani, Mrs. Ambani. Whatever name we have in last name, we want to use that name in, the, in place of missing values in grading name. How can we do that? For that, we can again use grid.fill in a and in that, you can use method equals to backward b fill and then you just need to say axis equals to one that's it now the missing values in greeting has been replaced with the last name right so now previously it was misses and this was blank now this has the values from next column 
and then now you can greet it by saying Mrs. Ambani, Mr. Phil, Mrs. Miss Elizabeth, Mrs. Gates. So that's how you can use access parameter to fill the values. Now, for example, let me take let me show you another example. Here we have this thing, right? But now we want to use the parameter. That means we only we are only interested in filling the first missing values. How can we do that? For that, fill any and here let me again show you the syntax. That syntax says limit. So we're going to provide a limit. Let me just show you the original data once again. So that's what the original data is. Now let's say I want to replace all the missing values with some value. Let's say X, Y, Z, right? Let me do that. Then I am gonna say, but I want to replace in first row only, right? So for that, I will say in X, Y, Z, and then limit equals to one and then i'll hit, hit enter now if you see these any values are not filled in but the first one is filled similarly let me tell you let me show you another example where i say two then the two missing values has been replaced if that would have been if we would have a missing values here also so that would have also been filled so it applies on the rows that will apply on columns as well but you're going to but for that, you need to use access equals to one. Then that can also be applied. That will be filled in one column itself, not in every column. Here we only have one column which has missing values. So that's all right. All right. So this is how you can use the limit parameter as well. Let's look at the another technique, which we say interpol it. Let me, I can show you this. So here we're going to fill this with using interpol it. All right, let me just run this. Few things to note over here. Interpol it doesn't work on categorical variable. So like you can see the missing values over here are not filled in. So how did it work on numerical variables? So here it filled the missing values. Here we had this missing value. Let me show you the original data once again df let's take this for example here we have one missing value between 15.28 and 58.22 right so it will calculate the interpolate for this two value and fill this missing thing with that interpolate value right so now if you want to understand what interpolate is i would strongly recommend you do a search on Google because that's not in the scope of this video. Certainly, we will be making some statistical video in that I will cover what interpolate is and then you'll get better clarity on that. But for now, it's just it calculates the linear interpolate for this uh, given variable and then it fills in over there, right? So same way you can uh, if I just do interpolate and I use this over here. So this is filled with 36.750. So that's the interpolate value of 15.280 and 58.220. And that has been used to fill over here. Same thing has happened on quantity and total. The benefit of using interpolate is you don't have to put your mind to select what sort of value you need to fill in over here. So Python does it itself. Now there is another thing, for example, this is unit price so it can vary but if you have some data which is based on date and time for example weather right or maybe some share market or something like that right so in in this short time frame possibly it you might get a situation which says that it cannot vary this much right so in that scenario what you can do is you can just change the index you can just just set date as the index and then you can use this let me show you an example set index and then interpolate 
in that let's see if this works well it just worked so here if you see this missing value is not placed with 36 but it has 72 reason the difference between this 27th Jan and this this was 3rd August it was quite huge so that difference cannot be so small so that's why it considered date column as well while it was calculating the interpolate value for this particular thing so that's how when you are using interpolate you can consider date time value as well if you have any date time variable you can make them as index and you can use that while you're using interpolate to fill the missing values right so this is how these all are the techniques which can be used to treat the missing values in your data appropriately so these are the technique which you can use to fill each of the variables separately now let's take another example where let's say we want to fill missing values only in one column for example we have gender column and we want to fill the missing values in this column only how can we do that so for that we first gonna put that variable name where we want to change the value df gender and then again we need to apply the fill na on that particular value only fill na you need to put data frame name then the column on which you want in which you want to fill the values and in that whatever value you want to use to fill that for example i again want to take mod of this particular variable to fit this fill the missing values in this particular variable so i'll again put that and then i would say mod and here i will just say zero now let's, let's print that like you can see here it has filled the missing values in gender column only but in rest of in rest of the columns we still have missing values all right so this is how you can use fill na and interpolate to fill the missing values in your data but it completely depends on you how do you want to treat them do you want to use special techniques to fill them or you just want to use standard value to fill them you also have option to drop the missing values which we covered in the previous video with this i would end this long video thank you once again for watching the video i just hope that i was able to clarify the doubts once again thank you very much all the best happy learning